Come on, let's go. Ah, let's go, son. All right. Sit up. Okay, here we go. I know. Let's go. Mm. Good sleep. Tarzan, what do you want to watch? Hmm? Which one is you want to watch? This one? Okay. Alright. Tarzan later then. We'll do this one right now. Hmm. It's coming. It's coming. There you go. Uh, he's been a fighter from the beginning. I mean, he started off, uh, you know, with a lot of strikes against him, but uh, he's, he's, he's just been a fighter all his life and he keeps going. We did not know what the future was for him because when they told us of the diagnosis, they said he was the eighth case. Now, when they told us the eighth case, we assumed in the city of Naples where we were living. And so we asked this genetics counselor, she said, no, no, no. I said, oh, in, in Florida? She said, no, <laughs> you know, she was trying to, and I said, in the U.S.? She says, right now, worldwide. Yeah, the, the first few years, we just didn't know what his life was gonna be. And uh, as it turned out, uh, he had a piece of a chromosome missing. And uh, so they called the, the uh, diagnosis 22Q13 deletion. Uh, we later found out that he does have a pretty significant piece missing. So for him was, again, a couple of more strikes against him because not only is it both, uh, it's physical and cognitive challenges, you know, so he, he needs care, you know, assistance in almost every area. The wheelchair that's up there, it was a very expensive wheelchair. And when we talked about it, you know, it's like, you know what, we're never gonna buy him a car, you know? I mean, that, that chair up there was about five, four or 5,000. And I said, that's his car, you know? So it's like, when we talked about it, like, it's very expensive and this and that. And in the end, we had, you know, because uh, you get a lot of friends and family that struggle to say, oh, what do we get him for birthday or Christmas? Because he doesn't play with your typical, you know, presents or doesn't recognize them. And so um, when we actually decided to go into this, somebody said, just start a GoFundMe page. We're kind of funny about doing it. You know, it's like, mm, I don't know about doing that. And they said, just do it and don't, you don't have to put it out there for everybody, just keep it among family and friends. And uh, we pretty much, everybody donated, you know, because they wanted to be part of, you know, something f that was gonna be enjoyable for him. And so that turned out to be really, really cool that we raised almost $7,000. We were just like, wow. About age 39, I met a father and son duo. Uh, I heard about them. And uh, the Hoyt, Team Hoyt, Rick and Dick Hoyt, amazing in their story. So I was trying to figure out what I could do. And so when I came across the father and son, the Hoyt, I said, that's how I can do something to bring awareness and do something with him. He likes movement and he likes music. So whenever we get going and the music's going and you know, he's able to, he's just really happy. He's just really, really happy, starts clapping, smiling.
So I was, uh, <clears throat> I was determined in order to uh, get back in shape to sort of get some recognition because I wasn't wanting the recognition for me. What I was wanting to was getting recognition to people to see wh why I was running at, at this age and at this level. And it was to see someday to get a run for my son, for Sam. And so that's where that all took off. And uh, I continued to run for a couple more years. And uh, then that's where Sammy's run came about. But, so I tried hard, trained hard to do my best to be out front because uh, you know, most of the time they don't really interview second, third, fourth. I mean, that's just reality. You know, you, know, when you win the race, you get the net recognition. So um, I started winning all these races and people were asking, you know, I remember somebody asked me, okay, we haven't seen you around from here. Where are you from? Where did you, where'd you come from? And I just chuckled, I said, uh, now I've been here about eight or 10 years. I just got, I just got off the couch. The first annual Sammy's Run was a, a great success, and uh, we went on to have uh, five, five, five years from 09 to through 13 it ran. You know, we, we had a very good committee, a lot of good people with a lot of heart. And that, that's what it was, is we had people that had a lot of heart that wanted to do it. That's what made it. We'll see where, where, what uh, 2019 brings. So.